there were instances of shoulder barging. There was a heated argument on the steps of a dressing room. There was criticism of the crowd. The Australia vs South Africa test series so far has been full of acrimony on the field and off the field. However, today there has been a development which overshadows every single aspect that has gone on in the series for the moment. Reports have come in and it has now been confirmed that Cameron Bancroft and Steve Smith have admitted to ball tampering charges in the Newlands test against South Africa. The incident occurred on day three when television footage showed Cameron Bancroft apparently taking a yellow sandpaper from his pocket. He proceeded to scuff the ball and then in a moment of panic, he decided to keep the, the object back in. Television camera spotted, it was shown on the big screen and now there has been massive outrage. Cameron Bancroft has admitted to it. Steve Smith has admitted that it was a plan. The repercussions of this will be huge. This is the first time that Australia have been involved in a ball tampering case. So Steve Smith admitted it and these are his exact quotes. It was decided by the leadership core during the lunch interval that we will deliberately tamper with the ball. These are his exact words. Steve Smith chose Cameron Bancroft who was not so experienced who was interested with the title of doing it. He was interested with the task of doing it. So Bancroft followed his captain's instructions. He chose to do it, but he was caught. And when he was spotted on the big screen, he panicked. So he didn't know what to do. And that is why, and that is the very reason where you will see a lot of criticism of the Australian team. Consider this, the events leading up to the ball tampering case was huge. Darren Lehman, Steve Smith and the Australians, they had complained about the crowd in Newlands that they had crossed over the line. However, this action will now overshadow everything. Adnan Shaukh is asking, will ICC take action against these culprits now or law is only for Park India and Asian teams? Okay, let me put it in a nutshell. Okay. When it has come to instances of ball tampering, there has been only one major incident that has happened. In 2006, in the England versus uh, Pakistan series, Pakistan test at the Oval, umpire Daryl Hare signaled, gave five penalty runs to England and indicated that Pakistan had tampered with the ball. This led to Inzama Mullah withdrawing his team and they did not come out to play after that. The match was awarded to England. If you have to look at the South African instance, yes, Fab Duplessis was charged twice. In 2013, he had tampered with the ball using a side trousers zipper. And in 2016 in Hobart, he had used lollies in his mouth to actually tamper with the ball. In both the instances, he was fined 100% of his match fee and 50% of his match fee. Now Cameron Bancroft has admitted to it. It'll be interesting to see what the ICC decides Action should be taken, Manu Priya is asking, yes, action should be taken, but whether the ICC has the spine to take any action remains to be seen. Because, let us make one thing clear, the match referee, the umpire in this case, is Nigel Long. What has Nigel Long's connection got to do with this? Nigel Long was the same umpire during the Bangalore test when Steve Smith apparently was caught cheating, apparently caught cheating, when he saw the dressing room for the DRS instruction. At that time, he labeled it as a brain fade. However, now, however, now looking at the context of ball tampering, it seems that Steve Smith's brain fade was actually not a brain fade. It might have happened that he was caught, but somehow he managed to wiggle out of that in the Bangalore test. One has to be very clear. The leadership core had decided to take the ball tampering thing during after the second after the lunch interval now who was the leadership core steve smith david warner who are steve smith and david warner they are ipl captains steve smith is the captain of rajasthan royals david warner is the captain of sunrisers hyderabad 
will the IPL take this seriously? It remains to be seen. A core group asking a player to do something out of the laws of the game is a huge issue. Will the ICC have the spine to punish Smith? There have been calls that Steve Smith should actually step down, but however, he has not decided to step down. That's the current mood that we are getting at the moment. Cameron Bancroft, after the end of the day, in the press conference in Cape Town, he said that, I watched myself on the big screens and I panicked. So Bancroft has admitted to it. The, this is the first time Australia have been involved in a ball tampering case, let me make it clear. There have been several other instances, right? If I have to start from 1976, when John Lever against India was accused of using a Vaseline gorge to tamper with the ball in 1976 in the Madras test. Then there was the Pakistan bowlers who used to reverse swing prodigiously, but at that time they were accused of cheating. They had, there was also instances of New Zealand players using bottle tops to ensure that the ball swung prodigiously. 1990 Faisalabad twist, Chris Springle. If I have to look at India, 2001 Sachin Tendulkar was caught cleaning the seam of the ball with his fingernails. He had not informed the umpire, but Mike Dinnis had charged him with ball tampering. That led to a huge opposition from the Indian media. And Tendulkar was let off with a suspended one match ban. He was never suspended, anyways. Rahul Dravid was caught tampering with the ball when a cough loss inch had fallen on the ball during the Zimbabwe game in Brisbane in the BB series 2004 Tri Series. Robbie Santos, strict action was taken by ICG. Now, such incidents are happening a lot these days. Well, not so much of the ball tampering bit, but I would say the sledging incidents need to be taken care of. IC should take hard decision, hard decision. Why are they doing like this? Smith 49 is the is the legend of Aussie. If any action should not be taken against those Aussies, then cricket will also be polluted. Not healthy for cricket, yes. If no action is taken now, Adnan, it, then cricket will lose credibility. I mean, when the Nidahas Trophy incident happened, Shakib al Hassan, the way how he conducted himself after the end of the game, he was only given a 25% fine on his match fee. The broken glass, when Shakib was apparently guilty, it was never discussed. So Shakib al was let off scot-free. In ball tampering, the ICC have been very, very lenient on the likes of England, on the likes of South Africa, and on the likes of Australia. Let's admit, the, the South Africans are also no angels when it comes to ball tampering. So, in a nutshell, it is very, very problematic what we are seeing. Cricket itself is the worst sport ever. Well, the doubters will now start to come out in the open and question the credibility of the game. At, the, at this point in time, cricket is facing a crisis. The decision to cut down the World Cup from 14 to 10 has also not, down, not gone down very well with many nations. Ball tampering, that too in a marquee contest between South Africa and Australia, will do the game no good. It absolutely does the game no good. So, one must understand one thing that this should not be taken very lightly. The ICC will take up, will take this up. What will happen to Steve Smith and what will happen in the series it remains to be seen. The repercussions are continuing. There are there is a huge outcry on social media as we speak at this moment. Dale Stain had tweeted a photo in which he said that. Can we talk about this? Well, it has certainly become a talking point now. Kevin Peterson has also lambasted the Australians, as rightfully he must. So at the end of the day, to sum it up, Steve Smith and Cameron Bancroft have been caught and they have admitted to ball tampering. What will happen to Bancroft? He will be charged by the ICC, it remains to be seen. What will happen to Steve Smith? He has apologized, but we don't know what will happen. These are tough times for Australian cricket as we speak. So one hopes that the ICC takes action. If they don't take action, then I feel the next rule of the law is they should make ball tampering legal. In an area where Tejas Asha is asking, where is the video? Well, Tejas, if you go to Twitter and from verified accounts, you can see the video. I'm not making it up. You can see it on many social media websites that there is a video 
even cricket australia have got the video so if you can avoid their geo blocking watch it shubham gupta singh if it was pre-planned the entire leadership group should be banned yes shubham you are absolutely right the leadership group had planned this the likes of david warner and steve smith are part of the leadership group brain fade and now ball dynamic what is smith up to ashok Gorma? well one of the mood in the on the desk at the moment is that Steve Smith is a very confused captain and under pressure he panics like what happened with the brain fade thing always but uh, imagine that this would have happened 10 years ago by name they would have had they would have come severe and you Sumit Singh Sumit uh, I beg to disagree because the BCCI would have backed the Indian players let us not mistake the fact the BCCI backs their players Will Cricket Australia do the same or will Cricket Australia stand up for honesty and integrity? It remains to be seen. Mr. Don, are you in South Africa, bro? No, I am not in South Africa at the moment. I, oh, I wish I could have been, but no, I am not in South Africa. So, this is a running issue at the moment. More updates will come as the day progresses. I am Siddharth Vishwanathan from the Hindustan Times office in New Delhi. Log in to hindustantimes.com slash sports for all the updates on this simmering issue. Trust me, it is going to be a massive issue in world cricket at the moment. Thank you so much.